Miley Cyrus yeah. is kind of a savage. Question She's mark? kind of a savage. I know. Honestly, when this song came out, Flowers. instantly everyone was like, all right, here's the connection. Here's what happened. Liam's a cheater. Like, I was just so confused. I, I know. feel like it was like these people were waiting for years. Like, they had everything in, like, ready to go, waiting for the song to drop so they could just, like, Throw it out there. Okay, I just want to preface this. I don't like the original song, Bruno Mars, When I Was Your Man. It's like not my vibe, not my journey. Oh, I like it. It's like if you're ever feeling sad, but like want to feel sad, <laughs> that, that that's the song. I think to. I just don't like Bruno Mars. He's just not what I would put on. So this song, when I, I first like heard Mars it. Bruno Mars is like similar to Pitbull. Yeah, you either like love you him or hate him. Hate, like, you can't help but to like listen. Like him? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, do I like Pitbull? No, but like if his songs come on, like am I going to like Like if head hotel bop? room yeah. service comes on, am I going to like jump on top of the table and like start For dancing? Sure. Obviously. Thousand percent. Anyways. But so my point was, I I don't care for the song. I will listen to it and enjoy it, but like I wouldn't put it on myself. Okay. So... This song, it's rumored to be a dig at her ex-husband, Liam Hemsworth. They met in 2010 on the set of the last song. I made um, Mr. Man watch it actually a couple months ago, and I didn't tell him how sad it was. <laughs> and, and then it's like, you've seen it. Tell me you've seen it. Yes, obviously. Okay, good. Well, it's very sad. And so like- How does it end again? They like save the turtles and they like The dad up. dies. Her dad was it her yeah. dad. Oh yeah, you're right. He does. Yeah, that. it's wicked fucking sad. It is really sad. But I didn't tell him that. Why do I like not remember it being sad? Like I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I just thought he was cute. So I was just like, oh, he's so it. cute. But so they they met on the set of whatever in 2010, and then they got married in 2018. Had a short marriage. They divorced literally a year later. I know. And I think it wasn't finalized until 2020. So, you know, it's only been like three years. So I feel like a lot of people are shitting. Not a lot of people, but I've seen some people being like, seriously, like it's been three plus years, like move on. But at the same time, like they dated for so long. And I feel like they have so much, not like trauma, but like kind of trauma. I feel like I'm seeing a lot of people on the internet lately that are like, oh my God, move on. About a lot of things, like yeah. even like Prince, the Prince Harry situation, everyone's like, move on. And it's like, would you move on? I don't know. I just think sometimes we get so overridden with like pop culture all the time that we're sick of it. So we're like, they should be sick of it too. But it's like, it's not our life. It's their lives. Do you like, hear who, that? Who like knows how long it is to actually get over a marriage? Do they, there's like a rumor. I say rumor because there's no, it can't be true. Um, that it takes ha like if you if you dated someone for eight years, it takes like four years to get over it. I read yeah, like half the time that you dated. Like if you dated for two years, it's gonna take you a year. But I'm like no, yeah, it's like the shelf life or the half. What's it called? The half life. I've, yes, mm -hmm. half life. Whatever. Um, yeah, no, I've read that before. But like, it's. I just think that there are some things, and trust me, do I think that she's coming out with a song and it's been a few years? Sure. Maybe it took her a while to process her emotions. I I honestly don't know. Maybe like she met this guy when she was essentially a teenager. He was like yeah. the love of her life. To my knowledge, I don't think she's dating anyone else, right? Like I don't think she's in a serious Not like serious, yeah. Like I'm sure she's dated, but he was kind of like the big epic love of her life. Like no one's shitting on Carrie Bradshaw for not getting over big for like 10 plus <laughs> seasons or whatever. Like nah, I just think- I definitely am. <laughs> true, but like- Whatever, like I think it takes a while to get over someone. I really do. I agree. And I just feel like she was very smart with the way that she wrote the song. Like, because wasn't it like this was like a song he dedicated to her or like whatever? Yeah, but like who said that? Like she who has, did say that. Who she is yet to confirm this. So I feel like that's a really big accusation. So I guess like I read something about him dedicating the Bruno song to her for their first engagement in 2013. And I was like, wait, first of all, first engagement? Does that mean they got engaged, broke up, and had a second engagement? Like, what's the first? I mean, they definitely Regardless. were very, like, an, in an on and off type relationship yeah. the whole time. That's why when the song Malibu came out, I was just so happy. Because I was like, oh, my gosh. They figured it. Because she went through the wrecking ball stage. Mm -hmm. And then they got back together. Then Malibu came out. And I was like, oh, my gosh. This is it. It's happening. It's perfect. Like, they found each other again. And then they were married. And then, boom, like, it was over. Before, right. like, just as it started. Um, I honestly... 
I just think it's like, you're right. It's interesting how the, the internet reacts these days to things because everyone's saying that he dedicated the song to her when either when they broke up the first time or like at their wedding, which like that would be a weird wedding song. Right. Um, something about like they broke up and he like said that this was like the song that he always thought about. Cause it's like, I could buy, I could buy you flowers. I could hold your hand, like whatever. Right. So she's now remaking the song as like an F you to him. But you're right. Like she's never once confirmed that he did do that. So, so I don't know bizarre. if people are just speculating. And now it's like people are taking that as fact. And then they're like, and she's in the music video. She's filming it in the house that he used the, like to, he cheat on her to cheat on her. Like 27, someone was 14 like, girls. <laughs> yeah. Someone was like, she, she is filming the music video in the house that he rented specifically to cheat on her with 14 girls, 27 times. Like the numbers I was seeing. <laughs> was like 54 times this happened and i was like how do you know yeah there's no i also way. never once heard about him cheating on her Same. until literally the song came out and i'm like were people just sleeping on this information for years or like is it not true i just don't know what to believe these days i feel like people want like the perfect story so like yeah. this music video comes out and they're like over analyzing every single thing like i do think i i didn't watch the whole music video but from the bits and pieces that i did see like she was um, dancing like pretty crazy and I guess that was kind of like an F you to Miley misbehaving on the red carpet like they would have like these red carpets that they would do together and she would kind of like act out and like do something like kind of weird or whatever and he'd be like can you stop like can you behave so like now that she's free she can like do whatever she wants and like do these weird dance moves um, but then I also heard it's like a dig at like how he used to dance or something like that. And I'm like, and then I saw so what about, like American it? Psycho. It's supposed to be like the scene from American Psycho. Like I have oh, no it? idea. Everyone is like saying different shit, but moral of the story in some way, I'm sure it is a dig at him. Good for her. Well, yeah, I it came out on his birthday. It came out on that's, his birthday. That's a fact. Yes. So I do think that there is some level of like, I'm not sure if a hundred percent of the things are true, but People always get so like, they're like, she needs to get over it. She's bitter. You know what? If I was Taylor Swift or Miley Cyrus or Selena Gomez or Ariana Grande, and I had the whole world obsessed with me and a guy hurt me, I would definitely do the same shit. I'd be putting out diss track after oh, diss yeah. track. After Olivia O'Brien. Yes. Olivia O'Brien. Um, Olivia Rodrigo. Like all of them. Like I yep. would, that would be my life because A, it sells. It's the best revenge. Bitches are always going to be lamenting over their boyfriends and they're going to want to listen to your angry you know songs yep. and be like why not it's fun also what better way to like rub it in their face like i'm going to make millions off of our breakup so yeah thank you for the and trauma. it's funny because like everyone else would do it too like there's i'd be hard fest hard pressed to find a girl that's like no like, i wouldn't do that like i'd be super mature like, none yeah. of us are mature that's the thing. I also don't have talent like that, but you know, if I had a voice oh. and like an ounce of creativity, <laughs> yeah, thousand percent. I would just be like going. For I would have had a banger by now. Yes.